Hi, I'm Dulia of Honesty Europe and I got a question about uh, how to handle when two codependent people are in a relationship and they have struggles with uh, boundaries and kind of staying in their own um, selves, staying in their own territory and not getting all mixed and mashed together. Yeah, I, I think that's a relevant uh, question and it can be a pretty tricky one. Um, what I would propose is um, the steps that actually work for many things. One, acknowledging, being aware, uh, ex exploring. So after you are aware that this is the pattern, this is what happens. Uh, then second, being curious and exploring. Uh, together, if that's possible, and if not, then you exploring on your own. How does this show up? What are the moments and situations that are not working for you? And you can even do your log like... Uh, emotion behavior situation like how, what is your normal pattern what is what is, what are the normal behaviors what is what is it that is not working for you um so yeah doing a log situation behavior emotion and then thoughts about that could be the fourth, fourth column so like doing a inventory what's really going on so also after the kind of a uh, more emotions more a situation like what is the pattern here how how you can uh, notice what kind of patterns you uh, deploy yourself um so awareness and then starting to be curious starting to be interesting and and maybe do a, a log and uh, and uh conclusions what are your key ways of behaving what are your key patterns here and then um a third thing having a, a conversation and having a conversation together uh, in a situation where it's not kind of a constrained or there has just been a blow up but kind of set time aside when there's nothing huge going on and talking together how is this working for you how is this working for me what could we do different to make this work better this interaction the way we are the way we get triggered together uh, and then make some agreements like both of us we are able to say time out for example or I'm I notice I'm getting triggered here are you getting triggered here so um, you can make comments about yourself and questions about the other so don't assume you are this you are that but rather oh I'm noticing there's some dynamic here that that doesn't seem to be good anymore it's not good for me. Um, how is that for you? Are you noticing something here too? Can we take a time out? Uh, can we try something different? And then agree uh, interventions that might work for you. That could be something like, I am I, you are you. And even doing it like physically. Okay, okay, we're getting into this spiral. We're getting into this pattern. I am I and you are you. And you can even do it with the hands. And you are you. Put the hands together. You are you. And that can get into a playful exercise of I am I and you are you. I am I and you are you. But like anything that you can do to establish uh, healthy boundaries and healthy distance. We are two individuals who choose to be together in a relationship. We don't have to be together and we are not the same. And I am not in charge of your happiness. I'm not in charge of your well-being. I can choose to be here for you, I can support you, and I'm not responsible. You're responsible of you, I am responsible of me. So kind of knowingly also make those statements and make some um, maybe written agreements. Like we both acknowledge that we have tendencies that are not very healthy and we tend to get like immersed into whatever is going on with the other. We jump into helping, we get overly involved we don't have healthy distance and how we want to be is to establish healthy boundaries, healthy distance, healthy separation so we can meet as two individuals from the place of I am I and you are you and I'm choosing to be here with you and for you and there's times when I'm not choosing to be here for you but rather taking care of myself and that doesn't mean I don't care about you, that doesn't mean that I don't love you, that means that I'm just taking some time off for myself to take care of this which is the only thing I can really uh, 
control. And even then I cannot fully control. Um, so yeah, awareness, noticing the patterns, having informed conversations in a non-heated moment, making some agreements, using verbal and physical ways to establish healthy boundaries, healthy separation. And when situation is on and you don't uh, find other ways, then just take time out. Okay, I'm responsible of me. Let me have a little moment to check in what's really going on with me. And I'm not going to get involved with you here right now. Mm, other things that might help, of course, is uh, couples uh, counseling and coaching, uh, couples therapy. And yeah, doing awareness and presence exercises on your own so that you develop more and more of the skills of being present for you. So bodily awareness, being present in your body, I judge is really relevant here. And separating facts and fiction. I need to help you. You're doing badly. You need me. Oh, there's some whatever energy. All stories. What happens is I notice something in me. I see you. I hear what you're saying. So also being very clear what are the facts and what is the fiction and, and, and uh, do practice and exercises around that as well. All right. Let me know how you get along. Ciao.